Hey, welcome back in Tech Tips Studio and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a car into Unreal Engine. We are basically going to set up a car into Unreal Engine 5.4.1 and also there's a great news. I'm going to give you this full project source code plus project file in my description down link so you can go there and download our Learn Unreal Engine app and in our Learn Unreal Engine app you find there's a file download section and from there you can basically directly able to get this project file okay and also there you will get the, all the password and etc so yeah let's get start so first uh, i'm going to import this model so i get this model from internet and i just did some modification and i just did some on rig so i'm not an expert on the rigging and mesh creating or the modeling mo modification okay so i'm going to all i already created a simple third person uh not sorry third person it's a vehicle template which is basically freely provided by Unreal Engine and in the model folder i just create a simple empty folder and i'm directly going to drag and drop this item at here okay so make sure that the skeleton mesh is coming it's automatically coming not should be pressed manually okay if it's not coming automatically it's been that there's some problem in your car rig so make sure you have that you don't have that problem okay now simply click on import now most of cases some of even most of not most of cases some of cases there's a issue can become that your car is basically flying so let me show you uh, what what is the basically what I mean and this is a key, as you can see there's tons of material I am I can't do anything because as I said I'm not an expert okay I download this model from internet yeah so whenever you open the car you'll be see some of cases your car is flying so there's a way to fix it uh, let me show you the first thing you need to go to the physics material or the physics sector and set the root to uh, single convex convol and then choose the others four wheel and make sure it's in spare and something like this once you have simply click on save now come back from this and go to the bone sector or the bone okay once you set up the bone you'll be see something like this it's automatically come like in the ground you'll be see something like this now if you see this still it's flying just cut off and just again open it and you'll be see that now it's okay it's in the ground even if you open your car you'll be see that it's still in the ground so this will sometime happen because of the physics because I, I, there's a, some hell happen with unreal engine physics that's why okay so currently you can see our vehicle uh, physics and etc it's really cool okay now we have a perfect vehicle now what you need to do first remember your bone name which is basically very in my case it's a very easy fl3 fl4 and r1 and r2 so which is basically very simple right okay once you have this thing now you need to go to the uh in the vehicle template then blueprints and make sure in unreal 5.4.1 they treat some you know extra stuff or you can say uh, in bangla we say it kabilati uh you know like some more it, you know they try to make it a more enhanced that's why so in the sport car you basically get basically the master class and this is basically the parent class okay so if you go to inside of this master class you will be find all of the code basically actually and where is the code oh sorry so this is the where this is oh what the heck oh sorry i, I did the mistake okay so this is the master class basically and this is and instead of that you find it which is basically the parent class of that Ah, okay sorry just you know i choose the wrong one okay so you find here the all the codes and here you don't see any mesh and you just see the camera but on here you know on the parent class you'll be see they put there the mesh so it's basically the master class and the parent system nothing else too much because you know in a parent maybe we need to just change the match nothing more else that's all but yeah i'm going to uh, set up in the master class it's uh, it's basically depends on you okay so in the master class just select the mesh and at here just choose the car mesh okay so here is our basically the car you can see it's a very casual car nothing too much now compile and save now you need to go to the vehicle section or the vehicle wheel movement and here you find the wheel setup just split them okay and here you've already find the automatic the they set a front wheel you can create by manually but i suggest if you are new just do it uh, you know uh use the automatic preset so fl fr3 and which is rr1 rr2 okay so for more confirmation let me check because i don't want to do mistake at here and i'm just opening that in my left window so i can easily understand okay fl3 uh oh sorry that should be fl3 what the heck okay fl3 and the fr will be fr4 okay 
and RL will be oh there will be RL RL1 and RR2 okay now this is a make sure that your bone name basically it's matching with your wheels basically that is the basically the main theory at share okay now compile and save now to be honest your vehicle is ready to rock and roll and I'm going to set up some camera here like basically the bone you can see it's uh, very far from my vehicle so I'm giving some closer and oh uh, maybe I need to also work some on spin okay to be honest uh, I don't have, want to do lots of work right now so I'm going to just put something like this and it's going to be work for me okay now what I'm going to do is basically at here on the settings go to the settings world settings and and then maps and modes just simply drag and drop this master class so it's going to be give me this uh, vehicle now click on play and now you can see that I have basically the vehicle and I guess it's uh, too you know what I can say like it's too close so let me fix it and also you see that there's a uh, uh, glitch come uh, you know kind of like uh, like the vehicle is still flying okay like you can see the vehicle is still flying uh, you'll be say that oh bro what the heck so basically there's a two time of problem can be happen at this case what how you can understand what is the basically the problem so in the sport so if you drag and drop a mesh you'll be see how it was okay in a mesh or you know uh, you can also check the basically the bone how it should be the bone basically uh, if I show you this one you can see uh, how's the bone position it is it's basically on the root section on the root of it's basically attached with the ground okay in the other hand if I uh, compare with our one you will be see that our bone is basically flying from the ground that is a, a problem to be honest okay so that is the one of the core problem that uh, at here and yeah you can do maybe some bone modification but it's better to you do a you know do a what i can say like on the blender and also you can see the our car size like how much smaller it is so it's also affecting now we see that bro now it's coming in ground yes because we fixed the physics so that's why it's coming in the ground so for fixing this one more thing what is the basically issue is basically uh, of the the car whatever class we are using okay so you'll be see that if you remember in the wheel classes we are using a, a kind of like uh, the front class or wheel classes which is basically they what they actually do is they basically give you some extra feature of the tire wide height and the you know how the tire should be behave I you know kind of like a physics of your vehicle okay so let's fix this thing so for fixing this thing what you need to do you, you have a two options first let's try to do method one okay uh, I'm not sure about the method one how much it's going to be work properly or not so I'm going to first uh, rescale it some more bigger kind of like two uh, let me just enable the lock mode and for getting the actual result you can first check in the wall settings that is it if you are going to pass to it it's going to be okay or not uh, I guess 1.7 you can see it's matching uh, the size so I'm going to put the same value at here 1.7 okay now once because I put 1.7 let's try this vehicle so as you can see I just go inside of the ground okay that's really very very cool thing okay I literally spawn on the inside of the ground so let's search the player start and here okay this is the main issue okay what the heck unreal engine did okay let's simply drag and drop in place start location okay now it not should be giving me that error okay so as you can see now it's uh, how it's behaving okay like you can see this uh, we are getting some glitching event uh, on the ground because our wheel is too now low okay so yeah for fixing this thing now we need to basically make it some more bigger okay kind of like 45 let's give it the same thing 45 compile save make sure compile save now let's give it a try so now it's more better okay so actually to get it more i think uh, i need to use 50 because i changed the uh, vehicle size basically actually that's why also there's a one way you can fix you can basically rescale your vehicle actually how it should be you can copy it with the unreal engine car so you'll be get the better understand so as you can see it's quite a good event for me right now 
but for more perfection I need 55 value. So it's basically all about tweaking. So as I said, there's a lot of way to fix a vehicle in Unreal Engine. As you can see, the first we have a problem of the Unreal Engine, you know, the size. Now then after that we have a problem of uh, what I can say. What the heck? <laughs> Internet Manager chat. Okay, so kind of like a problem of uh, you know, kind of like. But look, the vehicle actually looking very bigger than it should be. I'm not sure why. Okay, but yeah, it's actually look bigger at here. Even I said the same value. Okay, like I should use kind of like 1.6 or 1.5 actually. I guess it will be. So it's bad batteries is basically uh, you know you can try with this stuff. Okay, now the last thing is about the car, you know, the animation. Okay, I'll show you that in the next video. So, like, how you can basically animate the vehicle classes. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye bye.